Sarah, pretty nice night. Yeah, it's a good night. <laughs> yeah, we're lucky. Well, can we re remind us how you heard the news? Oh, I was um, I was on my honeymoon, actually. Yeah. So, I mean, I know you can't write. That. I know you can't. If you write that, they're not going to put not it in. Believe it, right? <laughs> um, no, I was I was in Italy, and uh, and we weren't getting any cell reception actually. So uh, so the only thing that came through was a text from my mother. It was like, where are you? What are you doing? <laughs> so I, it took me a while to actually get the full extent of what had happened, but it was great. It was amazing. And that's why we have mothers. And that's why we have mothers. I know. <laughs> Hi, <Yeah>. Mom. <laughs> How did this show come about? Uh, just a more basic question. Um, it was a collaboration between myself and my co-creator, Haggai, um, who did the show in treatment. or he, he created a show called BT Pool in Israel. It became in treatment. And um, when it was over, he said, okay, why don't you and I work together on something else because we had gotten along so well. Um, and so we wanted to tell the story of a relationship that was going to be told from two perspectives. Um, and we thought that the way to tell that, you know, in the most kind of uh, specific, intense way possible was to do it about an affair. Because um, the whole idea was that when you're even, you can be in a, in a relationship for years and years, but you're never really privy to who your lover actually is, you know, because we just are so, because mm -hmm. our, we're so far apart from each other and our consciousnesses are so private and individual and we thought okay well in an affair that's a really good way to kind of dramatize that concept because not only you're not privy to what's happening in your lover's head but you're not really privy to what's happening in their life mm -hmm. um, and we thought it would be exciting to tell it from two perspectives we got really into kind of the male female difference in terms of how people see uh, themselves in situations if they're sort of based on their gender. Yeah, it basically has two audiences, right? <laughs> it does, yeah. It, it, it's interesting because it seems sometimes like uh, everybody's watching their own show. Yeah. You know, it's, it's uh, everybody has a really different reaction to the show, very different reaction to the characters, and sometimes feels like we've made like a million different shows, which is cool. For, for, as a creator, it's really cool. Yeah, it's really exciting. And it also has this great temporal device. And there was a few shows this year, actually. Yeah. I know. It was yeah, in the beginning, yeah. you feel in the middle. It works so great. Yeah. Well, there's, I mean, if you go back to, I don't want to get like too heady, but if you go back to the Greeks and you look at those, 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 um, those mythic story structures, uh -huh. uh, like starting in the middle and then going back to the beginning and then continuing through to the end, those kind of epic story structures, they're really effective for storytelling. You know, that's yeah. a, they work for a reason. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of the way we're thinking about it when we structured the, the time period. We're thinking, okay, we're going to start sort of in what we conceive to be the middle of the story, and then we're going to show you what happened, and then we're going to eventually push through from, you know, where the past yeah. meets the present and then keep going into the future. It just grips you. Yeah, good. Yeah. I'm glad. The Golden Globes, what are they? What do they mean to you? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a real... It, it's a real privilege to do what we do anyway uh, for a living. You know, most people don't get to do what they love, and we do. So to be recognized for it is, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it, it, sometimes it feels like more, it's like too much. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's not just, too much. No, it's, it's icing on the, it's it icing on the cake. Yeah. Yeah, Especially in your category, because there was a lot of great shows. There so were so many great shows, yeah. I know. And to be a, a, a freshman drama in this category with so many amazing, you know, veteran shows that I love and I learn from, mm -hmm feels really good. Congratulations. Thank you so much.